Tonight's top story on the run from law enforcement for about nine years, but not anymore. We find bad guys and especially bad guys who um, molest and abuse children. U.S. Marshals say this man right here, Elmer Giovanni Castro, evaded ICE for almost a decade living in Ogden. But once Marshals were brought in to help, they had him in handcuffs in a matter of days. So how did he stay on the run for so long? ABC 4's Brittany Johnson live in studio with more on that and the pivotal role that his alleged victim played in his capture. Brittany. Well, Glenn, a list of false names and different addresses helped Elmer Giovanni Castro hide out from ICE agents. But a child Castro is accused of sexually molesting for several years. A family friend recently came forward about the abuse, which helped lead to his arrest. Ordered by a federal judge to be deported in August 2010. But law enforcement says this man, 41-year-old Elmer Giovanni Castro, a.k.a. Juan Castro, never went back to El Salvador. He's been hiding in Ogden all these years illegally, wanted by Immigration and Customs Enforcement after failing to appear before an immigration judge. This is pretty common, right? I mean, um, if guys know they're, uh, they're being uh, sought after, they're going to hide, they're going to evade capture, they're going to do everything they can. To evade capture, he used several names and aliases and moved addresses multiple times. While dodging ICE agents, Castro is accused of sexually abusing a child in Ogden. This probable cause statement says the abuse started in 2008 when the girl was five and continued over a seven-year period. Castro now faces two counts of sodomy upon a child and one count of sexual abuse of a child. He molested a child. That's the bottom line, whether he was illegal or not. But he shouldn't have been here. The girl recently informed Ogden PD of the alleged sexual abuse. Ogden PD did an excellent job in this case. To help track down their suspect, the U.S. Marshals were called in. And within five days, uh, we served that warrant. We found the person. We wrapped him up. We locked him up. And justice will be served. If you've abused a child and you have an, a warrant for your arrest, you're not safe. We're coming to get you. And we're putting the full force of our task force and the Marshal Service behind it to make sure that you're captured. Well, Elmer Giovanni Castro has been booked into the Weber County Jail and is being held on $50,000 bond. If convicted, he will serve his time here in Utah. And after his time is served, Castro will be transferred to ICE and then deported. Glenn, back to you.